Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Christmas wish list for this year. I think I did this video maybe two years ago and I just thought it was really fun to go through things that I'm hoping for for Christmas. Of course, I don't need any of these things for Christmas, but usually my family puts together our own little wish list, so it makes buying for each other a little bit easier. And I still think it's fun to watch these videos kind of like old YouTube and also I see a lot of like TikToks and stuff now where people do like holiday gift guides and Christmas gift ideas. So I'm just gonna go through my pretty short list of things I'm wanting. Everything I talk about will be linked down below and I hope you'll enjoy this video. First thing on my list is a matching line set from Lululemon. I have a bunch of like individual pieces from Lululemon um, but not all like matching colors. So I really wanted to get a top and bottom that are matching. So it would be the Align tank with just the regular Align leggings, I think the 28 inch. And I really like the color Dusty Clay. I've been looking at some of the different neutral colors they have. Um, there was like kind of a cream color and I looked at the browns. I'm in all the different kind of like tan nudes. And I feel like this one is probably the best. It's kind of the most neutral and I think I would really enjoy it. And it's different from the other pieces that I already have. So this is something that I've been eyeing and wanting for a while. I'm not sure if I've actually seen this color in person. I'm sure I have and I just didn't realize, but I looked at some comparisons between like the different nude shades and I thought that this would be the best. I love the Align tanks. I wear them literally all the time, especially every time I work out, even just day to day. Um, and I only have a black and white one, so I definitely want some more. Next thing is a gold apple watch band and I've had the same Apple watch band on for years. I think I got this for Christmas years ago. This is the only other one I've had besides the sport band that came with it and I got this back in 2018. So this is truly like the only band I've had on it which I do like this one. It's like a tortoise shell with the rose gold to match but I've really been wanting like a regular yellow gold kind of like chain link watch band for the Apple watch just to make it look more like a watch too because that's why I like this one. But I think having something that's yellow gold would be really nice and it goes with all the other jewelry that I wear. I think I saw this one from a TikTok that I ended up finding the link on Amazon and it has like the case around it too. So it just totally makes the whole watch look yellow gold when I have the rose gold. So that would be helpful to kind of make the whole thing match. And I think it's pretty affordable. So definitely a good thing to put on your list. Next thing I'm always wanting are chapsticks and I use the Naked Bee brand or Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees I know is super common, but I don't know if a lot of people have heard of the Naked Bee, which is also really good. It might only be sold in like local stores or online but I really like those and specifically in the Naked Bee I like the orange blossom honey and the coconut and honey flavors. I think I have the orange blossom one right now on my nightstand that I've been using. So they're really nice definitely similar to Burt's Bees. Um, definitely just great quality chapsticks. For Burt's Bees I like the coconut and pear and vanilla scent but of course any of them are great. It's definitely a good like kind of stocking stuffer just a little thing that you can add. Next thing is something I actually already own and that is a USB lighter but I want a second one to keep a my upstairs because the one that we have is downstairs so it'd just be convenient to have more than one and I really like the lighter that I have I'm pretty sure I'm linking the same exact one which I might have gotten for Christmas when I did this last time so I think two years ago I had the same one on my list and I got this one so it's been great and it's held up for two years you just recharge it and you can use it as many times as you want so I really like the USB lighters and this brand has been really good something kind of random that I put on my list is a mouse pad just because we've done like our home office here I want to keep it pretty neutral and clean so I think having like a nice neutral mouse pad would be a nice addition to an office so I found this round like gray colored one on Amazon so I thought this would be good to put on my list because it's also really affordable for a gift and it would actually be benefiting John more than me since he works from home, but I'm still kind of decorating his desk. I'm pretty sure this listing actually has a bunch of different colors and shapes. I'm pretty sure you can either get a rectangle or a circle and they have a bunch of different colors, but I thought this one was nice and it's just kind of plain. I was looking at the kind of like white or off-white ones, but I thought this would be a safe bet. Next thing I added is a dainty gold anklet. Um, I've been wearing the same anklet for probably 10 years and it just broke. Well, it's been broken for a while, but I like kind of ribbed the clasp where it was kind of like connecting it in a different place. So I think it's time for a new one and at this time I would want yellow gold again. It would match all the jewelry that I wear. I do kind of mix metals. The one I had before was white gold, silver or white gold, I'm not sure. But I definitely would like a yellow gold one and again just really dainty and thin. I usually get these from any kind of jeweler so I don't have like a specific one that I exactly want but something along those lines is something that I added to my list. Next thing I thought to add is Olaplex since I've definitely gotten into using that more the past like year or so. And I typically use the number three, the hair perfector, just as like a leave-in before I wash my hair. But I was looking on, I think Ulta, and I saw they have this set that has like the number three and the number six, which I think when I was first deciding which one I wanted, I was like torn between the two. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to have both in one. And I think it was definitely a better value. The regular bottle is like 30 something. And I think the set for two of them is like 40. 
um, and they're the same size, so you get two almost for the price of one. So I did have both technically on my list, either this set or just the number three. That's definitely a good idea to have any kind of like beauty set or gift set. I know there's a bunch of Ulta and Sephora. So makeup, hair, beauty products, skincare are always great items to have on your wish list. Most other things I'm pretty much like stocked up on, so there's nothing really else that I need to add um, beauty wise. Next one's kind of a splurge item, but also not so much a splurge that I thought it was gonna be. Um, I never thought to really put this on my Christmas list because I thought um, a lot of them were more expensive, kind of like seven to a thousand dollars I was looking at. Um, but I found a pretty inexpensive espresso machine and that's something that I've been wanting for a while. This one is at Target I think for less than $200 and I think I might have found it on Amazon as well for even cheaper. It's the DeLong DeLonghi 15 bar pump espresso machine. And there's like an exact model number. This is the ECP3630 and I think this is the one that's like fully stainless steel. They had a couple that were either like black, black and stainless or full stainless, but I definitely like the look of the all stainless steel. And this is definitely smaller than like the other espresso machines that I was looking at since like I said, those were a lot more expensive and usually they have like the bean grinder and different like components. So this is definitely one for beginners from what I've seen, but that's all I need because I've never had one before. We just have like a Keurig and coffee pot and I would love to have a real espresso machine. I never really wanted a Nespresso just cause that's like equivalent to a Keurig and I like making it fresh more than having little pods and stuff. So that would just be a great thing to have as much as I like and drink coffee. So I found one that was pretty inexpensive and something that would definitely still be able to be added to a Christmas list. So if you've been thinking about getting one or have been looking at different espresso machines, this one's definitely a good one from what I've seen on a budget. I feel like I always have this on my Christmas list in some fashion and that is a phone case. So I usually get the same um, clear phone case for whatever phone I have. It's kind of just a clear silicone or black I've had in the past, but since I'm so used to having the clear one, I was wanting something a little bit different. So I found this tan kind of light brown um, phone case that's still, I think, silicone. Just have something to switch out if I want to. And I believe this was on Amazon, so they also have a bunch of different variations for this. And last item I have that I didn't really think I wanted or cared about until I thought about it, I think actually like last night, and that's the Lululemon belt bag. I saw when these became like super popular and everyone was trying to get them and they were always out of stock. So I never really worried about getting them because I never really knew how much I'd use it. But now that they're a little easier to come by, I figured I would add it to my list. And I actually think they have some different um, variations and colors since it first came out. So when I was looking at the regular, like original one, I think they only have it in black right now. And I thought that that's actually a color I want, but then I saw this um, like large size one in the color white opal. And I thought this was really pretty and I kind of think I would prefer the white. Um, and since it's like an off-white, I just thought it was really nice. I think they used to have the original one in just plain white, but again, the original was only showing black on the website when I looked. So they had a couple different colors in this like large size. There was like a brown, like camel color, um, a grayish green, I think, but I definitely like the white one. I wasn't sure about the large size. I don't know if I'd want it any bigger than I've seen the original one, but I'm also gonna maybe try and look at this in person, see if there's like a big difference in the size or if it feels too big. But I did look up some videos and pictures and stuff and it doesn't seem too crazy. So if you haven't taken a look at the recent belt bags that they've come out with, definitely check them out. I think this one also has kind of like a different finish, like material. Um, it's not the just like smooth nylon. So I thought that was kind of nice and gave it a little bit of a different look. But yeah, as basic as they are and how everyone has one now, I feel like I would definitely get use out of it, especially if I'm either just like going to work out or going to a theme park or somewhere on the go where I just want something across my body and not having to carry a purse. I get the appeal, that's why everybody won them, and they're super cute. And that was actually everything on my list. I know this was a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to go through what the things that I've been looking at for Christmas this year. I hope this gave you guys some ideas if you're still looking for things to put on your list or things to buy for others. Again, everything should be linked down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Bye.